So I sat down last night to watch Crimson Peak with my wife. We sat down behind us. There's a bunch of females going, hee hee. And I thought, oh my god, they're going to just scream throughout this entire movie for no reason. Oh, they screamed, all right. But not because it was scary. Because you got to see Logie's ass. Now that's how you sell a movie. Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. I have to get away from here. Edith, this is your home now. <gasps> you have nowhere else to go. It was a very interesting movie. I will say a lot of good things about it, and I might say some negative, but in the end, I just want you to know it's an interesting movie, and I, I really, no matter what it sounds like at the end of this review, I really recommend everybody to see it, and I'll tell you why. Not because it's amazing, but I'll tell you why. So the story starts off with this uh, girl who knows that she can see ghosts. She saw her mom when she died, and now she knows that there's kind of like a supernatural element in this world. So that's already pre-established that this world is somewhat supernatural, unless you really believe in ghosts, then you might think it's the real world. In comes Loki. That's who I'm going to call him, Tom Hiddleston, but I like Loki better. In comes Loki, and he's a charmer. He's a wonderful charmer. I love you. I know what love is. Doesn't sound like that whatever and uh, he is just swooping this girl right off her feet she's just loving it she's eating out of his charm it sounds really weird so then unfortunate events happen something 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 not gonna spoil it boom bang boom they move to Crimson Peak now you obviously could assume that the house is called Crimson Peak because for one the fucking floorboard has clay that looks like blood coming out of it uh crimson and we're on a friggin high mountain Crimson Peak, Oh. Okay, so, and then I'm not going to give any more away because the story is actually really interesting to a fact if you really like these characters. So let's get into the good, the bad, and if you should check this out, which I already said, so whatever. The acting is pretty much good on all fronts. Nobody, like, stuck out like a sore thumb here. Everybody was really good. Tom Hiddleston is definitely the uh, major actor here. He's the one who gets to show the most range. He is kind of the star. Every time he's on screen, he's kind of electrifying in a way. And that is really great to see because all we've really seen him in lately is Avengers and Thor. But saying that, of course, the lead actress and all the others following the supporting, like Charlie Hunnam and every, everybody did a great job with their parts. I mean, some parts weren't as beefed up that I'll get to that, but everybody did their job and nobody here gave an awful performance and that's nice to see, especially in a horror movie. Another thing, and you'll see me bring this up a lot when I review horror movies, is there a story? Because a lot of horror movies just use fodder characters to die, aka Green Inferno. This actually builds a story where there's real characters. Now, it's your choice if you care about them. I noticed some people in this theater probably didn't care about any of these characters. Me, I was really digging the actual characters and their backstory and some of their motives. So I actually liked that this movie had a story. It's, now, you don't see that all the time in a horror movie, so it was nice to hear. Another thing, and this has got to be my biggest plus, the design of the house, the set, the atmosphere, everything is wonderful. And right away, you know who did this. Gil Maturo. Now I can't say his fucking name when I'm trying to review. I said it 800 times last night, right? Gallimatoro, Gallimatoro, God fucking damn it! The director is really just does a great freaking job in this movie. Um, he he always has his style, and I love Hellboy. Those are my favorite films from him. I love Pacific Rim, and I literally liked some of his other movies like Mama and so on. So these these movies where you can tell it's his movie, like he's done it. Those are my favorite, so I really did enjoy the fact that it looked like his movie. Really being like thrown at us in an angle that the movie isn't really. It's not a super scary horror movie. There's really barely any moments that will make you scared. There's some moments that make you cringe, and there's some moments that might creep you out, but there's no jump out horror, and that's what the trailers are trying to make it, in my opinion. They're trying to make a movie something that it isn't, and that happens a lot, but it is especially apparent right here, and it's really annoying, because this movie obviously wants to be what it wants to be. It's kind of like a romance story mixed with horror elements, and the trailer's just giving us horror, 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 blood, horror, and it's really, that stuff is the secondary nature to the rest of the movie, so if you're coming into this theater expecting to be scared out of your boots, that's my new expression, no it's not, you won't be. Now, saying that though, 
The other negative, and this is kind of a big one, is that some of the stuff that happens makes no sense. What I mean by that, some of the cuts, I guess the editing, is like stuff happens, they find some, and then you're like, you skip to the next day. Like, okay, it's the middle of the night. How the fuck did you get back upstairs with nobody seeing you? How did these people not figure out that you're kind of learning about the Stuff like that. That stuff really annoys me. And another thing, some of the motives in this makes no sense. Like, why would you do that when you can just do this and get away with it? Like, stuff like that just really freaking annoys me. It's just something that I caught on a lot in this movie. And also, the last negative, and this is something that might not affect you. It is very, very, very predictable. My wife turned to me 10 minutes into the movie and goes, so what, what are your guesses? And my first guess was the entire plot, including the twist and everything that happened. I mean, shit. But hey, not every movie needs to be full of surprises and actually surprise me. I still enjoyed it for what it was. So let's get to the overall enjoyment. Should you see Crimson Peak? Well, like I said in the beginning of this review, everybody should see this, and for a reason. You're only going to want to see this probably once in your life. It's a once-in-a-lifetime movie. You watch it once, you say, oh, I liked it, or wow, that was great, and that's really it. I can never see myself watching this again because it just builds on to the ending. And you, when you know the ending, there's no reason to rewatch it. There's no big reveal like, oh, I missed that and this. No, everything is spelled out for you. There's a lot of exposition. So when you get to the end, it's just over. And I never want to see this movie again. Saying that, there are a lot of movies like that where I see them once and I never want to see them again. And this is one of them. And I really did enjoy it. I love the atmosphere. I liked the most of the characters. And I really thought the acting was superb. But at the same time, it's so predictable. It is a one-time movie. So should you see this? Yes. Should you see it in theaters? I would say yes, maybe a matinee because of the sound is so beautifully crafted and it's so creepy. But should you buy this at full price or see this at full price? Eh, that's up to you. If you're a big horror fan or Gal Matoro, God fucking damn it, I can't say his name. If you're a fan of this director, check out this movie at full price. It's not bad. It's not a bad time at all. You're going to probably enjoy it. If you're super hyped about this movie, I feel you'll be a little bit disappointed probably. Me, I was on the fence and I really did enjoy it. So I'm going to give Crimson Peak a 3 out of 5. I thought it was great in a lot of aspects. Some things held it back, but overall, just very enjoyable. Definitely a fresh movie. Definitely going to tell people to go see it. So check it out. Whitey out. I'm going to get that goddamn director's name and I'm one damn this. Do a whole fucking video again, his goddamn name right.